I will show you how to use iPhone camera timer the usual way as well as the new fancy very useful way. So I'm Lucas from Apple Fox and let's begin. Like, sure, the most basic way to do it is to simply open up a camera and if you are not able to see it right away, just simply swipe up and there you have a couple of options. And the thing that looks most like a timer is actually the timer. So you can click it uh, and you have the option to click on 3 and 10 seconds. So apparently after clicking on the shutter button, you have either 3 or 10 seconds for you to get to your position for the photo to be taken. But uh, there is a very interesting way to do it and it works on any iPhone. And the way to set it up is to go to the settings. And the actual end result of all of this is going to be that you'll be able to tell the iPhone to take a photo for you and even how many photos you want and many great things. You could of course ask Siri, but uh, she's pretty dumb when it comes to taking a photo, at least right now. So if you tell her to take a photo, she's going to just open up the camera. Like apparently that's what you use to take a photo. But if you want to use the way I would recommend you is to simply go to the settings, then go to accessibility and there you should be able to see voice control somewhere. So click on it and you'll have to click on setup voice control. So just click continue on all of the things you need to set up like um, you hit done and now you can do whatever you want now you can click on customize commands and create a new command at first you need to choose the phrase so in our case it's gonna be to, to take a photo so just type in take a photo and you can click on the action here you will need to click on run a custom gesture and uh, as of right now, what we'll try to do here is to simply imitate the clicking on the shutter button in the camera app. So you can click on hide controls and tap on where the shutter button actually is. You can tap once for now and wait for the 10 seconds. Just wait around right here and now you'll be able to click on save. Now come back and hit save again. Now watch what happens if you come to your camera and say take a photo. The iPhone will actually take a photo because you can literally see that it taps on the shutter button just like you made it actually work. So this was the gesture that you actually created. And I think that this is very useful. And if you don't want to miss the next tips that I have for you, then make sure to subscribe to the Apple Fox channel. I post videos like these as well as some software updates, reviews and stuff like this. So you can see that it doesn't have to be exact, you don't have to tap it, tap the shutter button exactly in the middle, it just has to work. And the great thing about it is that you can play around with it. So when you're not using it, of course, turn the voice control off, but if you do, then you can customize it in such a way that it's going to take five photos. So you will create new gesture, new phrase, and it will actually, you will say something like take five photos and you will tap the shutter button five times. So this is a very nice and you can just make it take a video even. You can customize the gesture to simply swipe to your camera. I mean, swipe the video section and then take a video. I think that this is very, very nice, but a lot of times you don't really need the video capabilities. You just want to take a photo without actually setting the timer and then running like crazy to your position to for the photo to be taken. I think that this type of voice command is something that I'm going to be using a lot because I just consider it to be very useful. One important thing to also keep in mind is that you can set specific apps where this can actually happen or take place. So if your phrase is something like take a photo, I would just click on the applications right there and to, I would just choose the camera because why not? Like I don't want all of the apps to be able to actually have access and to hear me all the time because I, I would just only pick camera. Of course, depending on your gesture or command, you can obviously use it outside of the camera, but I'm just showing it to you as a tip. There are obviously some other things that you can uh, like do with this. So if you want to want me to make a video just about this and uh, these voice command gestures, make sure to hit the like button and also let me know in the comments like what would you like to see and if you, if I should actually make a video about it. So I want to say thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of content. If you do, I would be really I would really appreciate if you clicked on the like button. This would really help the channel. 
and you can also click on the subscribe button that way you will always stay updated thanks a lot for watching and your support and see you guys later in the next video